Hello everyone, Raza here. In this video, I will show you how to convert your Excel spreadsheets into Power Apps in a matter of minutes. We will take the advantage of Copilot to move the data from our Excel spreadsheets into Dataverse tables and then build Canvas Power Apps, model driven Power Apps on top of it. I will also show how to get data from multiple spreadsheets to create multiple tables that will be related with each other and a lot more. So let's check it out in action. I have an Excel file that tracks information about companies that my organization does business with. So let's see how we can take data from this Excel file and turn it into a fully functional Power App in Power Apps right on the home screen experience. We have an option to start with data. And in here, one of the options is to create an application by bringing in data from an Excel file or a CSV file. I'll select this option. Here I can go and select my file. Copilot springs into action to read the information from the first sheet in that Excel file. It suggests the table name. I have the option to change it. The primary column for this table is set as name. The columns that it is suggesting for the table, the data types have been mapped by Copilot depending upon the type of data it has observed in those Excel columns. ID, whole number, name, single line of text, industry, a choice column with the following choice values. We have full flexibility to customize these columns, the names, data types, whether they are required or not, and more. Next, all we have to do is click create app. And this will begin the process of importing data into a table in Microsoft Dataverse. It starts creating the canvas power app for us. Here we have a gallery that shows the data coming in from our table that got created in Dataverse called Company Info. The Canvas Power App is fully customizable. I would like to show the name of the company. If I preview on the left hand side, all the companies also has the option for me to search, select a specific company make modifications to the data, submit, and all that information will be updated in my Dataverse table. I can create new records in the company table, edit existing records, view records, delete records. Fully responsive Canvas Power App. Now back to my Excel file, I also have Another sheet projects and these projects are related to my company data. I have the ID of the company, the name of the company. In my projects tab, I have that same information. Now, how do I take all of this data, import it into table and dataverse and relate the two tables together by creating a many is to one relationship between the projects table and the company table. Now for creating the app with data, we have this option on the home screen. However, if you simply need a table created, directly head over to tables. And we have that same option here as well, which is create with Excel or CSV. I need projects. Now, if I try to upload that same Excel file here, you will note that it once again brings in only the first sheet of information from my Excel file. So it's bringing in the company again. I already have that information. I need projects. One easy thing we can do is simply just swap this around and make projects as the first sheet. Now, if I try to create a table with Excel, 
and select that file. This time, because projects is my first sheet, it will pick the data from sheet one. Once again, copilot frames, suggestions for the table name, description, column names, data types, and it shows a preview of the first 20 rows of data. Once I create my table, it will import all the data. Now the company information, company ID is being mapped as a whole number and company name is being mapped as a single line of text. However, I would like to map this as a column of type lookup in Dataverse. And that option is not available in this experience that we have to create a table or an app from Excel. So for now, I'll go ahead and click create. This builds out my project information table. Company ID and company name. I want this to be a lookup column. And on similar lines, I want a lookup column to track the project manager. So first I'll go ahead and delete these columns. But if I try to delete it, it says there are some dependencies. If I go to views, the first view is active project information. In here, I'm showing the company ID. I'll remove it. Company name, remove. Project manager name remove, project manager email remove, save and publish, back, back to my table experience. If I go to forms and go to the main form, company ID, select and delete, company name, project manager name, project manager email, save and publish. Now I can go ahead and delete those columns. Let's go ahead and create a new column. I'll call it company. This would be of type lookup. Lookup to the table I created earlier by importing data from my Excel sheet of company. I'll point to that table and click save. This will create a many is to one relationship between my projects table and my company table. Here is that column. If I select here, this will list out my primary column from my company table, which was name. And I'll go ahead and create another column. I'll call it project manager of type lookup. And this one I will relate it to the user table. I'll click save. I'll create a model driven power app. I'll click on create an app. I'll call it project tracker app and click create. This will take the table schema and go and frame a fully functional model driven power app. The landing screen of this application shows the project information view coming from the project information table. I can modify this view by heading over to edit. I would like to show the company information. That's my lookup column company. Select, drag, drop. I positioned it right here. Then project manager. That's my lookup column again. Save and publish. I'll go back, active project information view updated with the columns that I added. The user has the option to select the name of a project. This will take us to the main form. This form as well, I can edit. I would like to add the company lookup column and project manager lookup column. Save and publish, click back. My application is ready. I can click publish and play the app. This is a model driven power app. The view shows all the data from my project information table. I can select, 
I can see the form, company. This will show all the company names. I can select my company. I can pick a project manager. These are users from my user table. Save and close. The updates have gone in. Now the data that's been imported does not include the information for company and project manager. Firstly, I'll go ahead and delete all the rows from my table. I'll start from a clean slate. In my Excel file, company ID, that's the unique identifier. So I'll use that as a reference point. I'll go to tables, custom, and search for my company table. In the schema section, we have an option to create keys. Lookup columns look up to the primary column of the table, which in my case is name. But when I'm importing based upon my Excel data, I want to map it to ID. So I need to make sure I create a key in this table. I'll call it key underscore ID and I'll pick the ID column. Click save. This will create a key. For project manager, in my Excel file, the unique identifier for a user is going to be their email address. Once again, I'll go to tables, search for user, pick the table user, go to keys and create a key that points to the primary email column. Now back to my model driven power app. In the project information table view, we have an option here in the ribbon called import from Excel. I can select this and try and upload my Excel file. Click next. My Excel file does not have the format that this table expects. To get the format, if we go to Excel templates, we have an option here called download template. I'll select this. I'll click download. Here's my Excel file. I'll open this. I'll click enable editing. And this table is where I can start inputting data. I can easily go copy all of this data from my Excel sheet and go and paste all of this information in the Excel template that I downloaded. Company has the ID, project manager has the email. I'll save this. Back to my model driven app. This time if I go to import from Excel and choose file, I'll pick the new file in which I moved my data, click next and here, I'll go to review mapping. Now this will automatically map the columns from my Excel file to my table and Dataverse. Company, there's the search icon. If you select this, currently the lookup is being performed to my company info table on the column name. In the Excel template where I added the data, I have the company ID. That's my unique identifier. So here, instead of name, I'll go and search for the column ID and click OK. So now company as a lookup column is referring to the ID column, which is a key column that I added in the company info table. And a similar experience is what I need to follow for project manager. Click on the search icon. It's pointing to the user table, the column full name. Let's remove this and point to the primary email column, which I made a key in that table. I'll click OK. I'll click finish import. This now submits my data 
to begin the import process. If I click track progress, say okay, this will open a different screen. It shows the Excel file that I imported. It processed 30 records. Those were 30 rows in my Excel file. All of them succeeded. If I simply refresh the view, here is all the data coming in from my Excel sheet plus mapping the relationships. Back to my model driven power app. Let's click on new dataverse table. Let's also bring in the company info table that's mapped on the left hand side. When I select a specific company, it shows me the details of that company. Here at the bottom, I would like to show all the related projects. To do that, I'll edit the main form, select components, grid, subgrid. Subgrid is where I can show data from related records. So I'll select this. Company table is related to the project information table. So I'll select the project information table. I'll click done and it goes and adds the subgrid at the bottom. Save and publish. Back. Let's play the model driven power app. Landing screen, all my project information. And if I go to company information, view, and right at the bottom, I can see the related projects. I have five projects related to this company. And I can confirm this by going to project information, filtering on the company tech innovators. Here are those five projects. Plus, we have the assistance of Copilot. We can ask questions against our data to Copilot. How many projects are completed? The response is there is one project that is completed. You can also select from existing prompts. What are the projects assigned to Sarah? Shifts power app. If I select this, it will take me directly to that project record. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.